Hello friends, how are you doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Today I am doing a video of something that um, you know many of you have asked me uh, and that's about supplements regarding what supplements I take and specifically for my RA. So I finally I got the time to um, sit down and talk about this. Now the way I'm you know going to talk today right it's based upon all the experience that I have gained you know I did a lot of different things initially so you know the what I'm going to share with you is not necessarily how I approach things which was unfortunate because you know it was like trial and error whatever I read here there I felt like oh this supplement would be good let me give this a try and at that time the initial one year when I was trying different things I really didn't even know what was working for me and what was not because there was really no science behind it it was you know, uh, well, maybe a little science, but it was not kind of all hanging into place. And I really, you know, didn't really know what I was doing, to be honest. So now, though, I feel like I'm in a much better position uh, because, you know, of the training that I have got um, uh, from the NTA on nutritional therapy and, you know, all the other, you know, small trainings that I have taken, you know, um, courses that I have taken online that have educated me on what kind of supplements and how to basically approach it, this from a functional medicine standpoint, right? So I am going to be talking primarily about supplements that would be useful for somebody who has RA, but essentially this will also be useful for people who have any other kind of autoimmune disease because that's essentially you know what this is the approach is something that will benefit anybody with autoimmune condition because as most of you might know um, right autoimmune disease um, essentially all the symptoms of autoimmune disease begins from a leaky gut and so that's definitely you know one thing out there and then the underlying reasons why somebody may have developed autoimmune disease could be different in different individuals and you know could be exposure to you know some kind of virus toxins or other things which you know has an impact on your immune system and thereby it has an impact on your gut and then which further you know makes things worse from an immune standpoint that's one and then there could be even um, you know i said virus but there could also be bacteria and that could be there could be you know dysbiosis happening inside your gut you know and that could have come from the digestive tract and and that ultimately you know the dysbiosis in your body could be causing um could be the reason for the leaky gut so in that case, you know, we need to first take care of the dysbiosis and that's how, uh, you know, it would be like a stepwise thing, you know, dysbiosis, the leaky gut, and then on one side also your liver, because liver is, um, you know, by detoxing liver, what you're basically doing is you're uh, giving the liver uh, the ability to, um, uh, to be able to efficiently detox, right? So on, on an ongoing basis. Or, and as, as well as also get rid of you know any other any existing toxins that are there in the body so that's uh, you know why liver or, or taking care, care of the liver is important taking care of dysbiosis is important healing the leaky gut is important uh, and then also addressing some other foundational things like adrenal fatigue as well as blood sugar balance and they are also kind of related to each other so those things are important so what i'm going to you know talk about the supplements they i'm going to talk uh, from from um, from these foundations perspective all right so the number one thing for ra it has been you know a lot there's been some literature uh, not a lot of scientific studies in humans um, but you know um, there have been some couple studies um, that have shown that RA actually is caused um, uh, or by you know some combination of either or I would not say caused I mean triggered by some virus or and or some bacteria so and that you know can cause a weakening of your immune system and that leads to um, leaky gut down the road so for uh, you know taking care of dysbiosis i usually like to follow a stepwise approach depending upon 
Now, as a nutritional therapist, I have some uh, tools that helps me evaluate clients in terms of where they are uh, in their uh, foundations, you know, in terms of their digestion, you know, whether even within digestion, whether your stomach and, um, you know, upper uh, digestive system or your, you know, small intestine and large intestine and so those kind of things. So based on my, you know, questionnaire uh, and symptoms and signs and symptoms analysis, I can kind of focus, you know, and take a phased approach. Um, when I was, um, you know, treated by a naturopath, um, basically, you know, she really put me on a lot of, you know, what are the, all the different things that I mentioned, she put me on simultaneously on a lot of different things. And, um, you know, I just started. So basically I started with like 20, 25 supplements and I was, you know, I just did it. Now looking back, I know why she did that and the reasoning behind it. But at that time I had no clue what I was doing. So now I'm going to split it out for you. And I personally, uh, what the way I approach this with clients, I like to do a phased approach. I do not start people with 20, 25 supplements at once. Um, but I, you know, one month at a time, I start first, my first focus is always dysbiosis, you know, so how to improve that um, balance um, of, um, you know, in the gut, you know, kind of uh, introducing good bacteria, killing the bad bacteria. So for that, um, the first thing I start with some um, ADP, uh, which is nothing but oregano oil. So those ADP tablets, by biotics, and then I also like to use some either garlic uh, capsules or garlic as in fresh, you know, garlic chopped. And um, I, that's something that I like uh, to do for the first two weeks to, you know, three weeks. And then depending upon the level of dysbiosis, um, there might be a need to give even something stronger, like a stronger bactericidal, and the biotics um, have, um, you know, some other, um, some other supplements that are powerful uh, bactericidal. So, you know, I, I give that too, but not for all, you know, depending upon uh, what symptoms and signs I notice, uh, I give, you know, go to that aggressive route. But otherwise, for most people, ADP garlic, that's one thing for, you know, doing the, uh, for getting rid of the dysbiosis. And then after that is, uh, so first step is to kill off the bad bacteria. And then the second step is to act, and it could also be yeast as well, not just bad bacteria. It could also be fungus, like, you know, bad uh, strains of yeast. So we uh, need to get rid of that candida, uh, etc. And then um, for, um, um, you know, repopulating the gut, you need to repopulate with good bacteria and that's where um, you know I again use um, probiotic uh, my favorite is Biodof 7 and that's also uh, from um, biotics brand I like that because it has a good combination of probiotic different probiotic strains as well as prebiotic and that helps in healing the gut as well and um, and for some individuals an additional probiotic like you know strains of um, uh, Saccharomos uh, Saccharomyces boardi is also uh, recommended. Uh, so that that's typically, uh, you know, what probiotic supplements I would say. And yeah, and when you talk about probiotics, there are a lot of probiotics in the market. So, um, you know, I have not tried everything. I'm just talking about the things that, that have worked for me. Ultra Floor Max is another brand that I like and I have used and it, it, it worked good. Uh, the other one is, um, I think some people have histamine toler intolerance and for them, uh, brands like, um, I think Prescript Assist um, as well as Megaspore. Megaspore Biotic is one that could be used for histamine um, intolerance. Uh, so that's with, uh, you know, dysbiosis. And then the next thing you want to uh, really address is the liver. And, um, you know, so basically what you're doing is supporting the liver. So all the supplements that you take for the liver are basically helping the liver do its job, 
right, which is to detox. That's the job of the liver. So the number one supplement there is L-glutathione. And that is something that I still to date continue to use, uh, continue to have myself because uh, since I am still on medication, you know, and I'm on methotrexid and plaquenil, so that still puts brings a, puts a toll on your liver, that puts a heavy load on the liver, those, you know, those drugs. And that's why I feel like a good liver support is really critical. So if you have RA and if you're on medications and uh, you know that that tax the liver, you know, you, you need to be on a glutathione, not just initially, but uh, also, you know, continue to be on it because it gives ongoing support for from a detox perspective. Now for liver detox, there could be, there are also other formulas that include more than a glutathione. There is like NEC, that is N-acetylcysteine. Um, as well as um, MSM, yeah, that's that's a good combination there. Um, that's those are also, you know, ingredients that are important for uh, all those liver detox pathways to occur. You know, there's phase one detox and phase two detox, and a lot of different reactions, to, you know, are happening in that, and uh, it needs uh, nutrients, right? And these are some of the uh, critical um, components that are involved in those re are used in those reactions and therefore supplementing uh, would be good because it's not possible you know when you really have a compromised system it's not possible to do everything um, via foods uh, although you know eating good um, highly nutrient dense foods like greens leafy greens a lot um, is really helpful even beets and beet juice is really helpful because it helps to detox uh, milk thistle is another natural product that is uh, really helpful for detox and then there are some um, formula in fact um, the one that I used initially was called DIM detox and that actually has a bunch of you know these different liver support um, ingredients in it and in one formula and so that that's also uh, a good supplement to have initially and then later on you know you can um, just stick to L-glutathione. Along with these actually for detox you also need B vitamins. Uh, make sure they are methylated with, um, B vitamins for because there could be you know folks who have a problem with methylation and in that case um, you know you you're not go, you not be you will not be able to use the B vitamins un unless they are in a methylated form. So it's always best to use that. And then uh, magnesium is another important mineral that is used useful for a lot of different things, but it is also useful for liver detoxification. So magnesium is also something that I initially, you know, start my clients with because it's, uh, and it can range from anywhere between 200 to 400 milligram, depending upon the requirements but that's um, also you know something that's important now magnesium is also important from the standpoint of um, as i said other things uh, in uh, from pain management also i have noticed personally that magnesium makes a, diff a different a difference when initially i had like really very very bad shoulder pain and i used to get uh, get up in the middle of the night with severe spasmodic kind of pain in my shoulders you know like the muscle and joint you know kind of kind of pulling together that that kind of pain i think um responds well to high dose of magnesium um and i used to take magnesium internally as well as there's a cream that topical magnesium cream and i used to apply that as well and that gave me a relief so i just wanted to mention that too about magnesium uh, then in general, RA means a lot of inflammation in the body, right? So you're trying to reduce the inflammation. And there are a bunch of different things you can use to reduce inflammation. Number one is turmeric or curcumin. And I think I have uh, mentioned that before too in my videos. And curcumin, um, uh, I'm forgetting the dose of it. I'll, I'll put that in my description box. Uh, but curcumin is, you know, depending upon what brand, I, I'll put the specific brand that I use and, you know, the dose of it. Uh, you can also use raw turmeric, uh, you know, raw turmeric root, which is fresh. 
and um, you have to use at least like um, about a teaspoon of the chopped um, raw um, raw turmeric and uh, either you know just chew them and or juice it you know chewing will be hard because it has this very potent taste uh, but pungent taste I mean but you could also you know blend it in a smoothie or you know juice it and have it like that or you can just have curcumin supplement or you can have a combination the other important thing for reducing inflammation is vitamin c and i like to use ester form of vitamin c i put the my favorite brand of vitamin c in the description box too and i like to use anywhere between one to two grams per day initially more on the higher side between 1.5 and 2 grams per day and then later on you can taper it down to about 1 gram per day uh, and this is really important um, uh, to reduce inflammation as well as to you know to support the immune system uh, so really really important um, and then vitamin d now if you have tested your vitamin d levels and if they are low then it's really important um, uh, in, and this is true for all, not just RA, but all autoimmune conditions that with, you know, vitamin D, low levels of vitamin D can actually cause problems with the immune system. So supplementation, my favorite supplement is that a brand, uh, Isotonics brand, and um, because that's the personal experience that I had, uh, you know, using Isotonics brand for vitamin D and my vitamin D levels went from 25 to in the 80s you know just in two months by using that brand so i really like that brand so i'll put the link above for that also in the description uh, there are also other brands and i think particularly um liquid drops pure encapsulations has one uh, would be would be good uh, other thing for inflammation is uh, fish oil um and again i really like to use liquid um form of um, I mean um, not just cap you know not gel or uh, capsule but liquid which you can use like drink orally so uh, there are a couple of those brands I'll uh, mention that and then now actually I've shifted to um, Bio Omega uh, 1000 which is a biotics brand and that's uh, that's a very good formulation too so i like that i like also uh, metagenics omega complete omega 3 that's also a good line uh, then finally um, you know leaky gut itself right um, how do you heal the leaky gut so you have to do various things in terms of your diet alp diet is one that will you know help you avoid the things that can continue to erode the lining and cause worsening of leaky gut so you know AIP works in two ways right it, by limiting the foods that can cause damage as well as um, as well as by e eating um, healing foods that will heal the heal the gut so in addition to all those um, supplements that can help is L-glutamine now L-glutamine is also one of the things that is uh, there in bone broth and that's why AIP recommends regularly having bone broth uh, but in addition to you know having bone broth you can also use a supplement l-glutamine i like to use l-glutamine in powder form and you know just mix it with water and have it so for that too i prefer the biotics brand because they have the powder form of it uh, along with um, l-glutamine another thing that uh, really helped me heal my gut is slippery elm uh, which is like a bark um, you know so it's um it it doesn't really have a taste but it is it's a powder and it i think it's pretty neutral but some people might not like taking it because it's just it has this uh, woody kind of um you know tasteless but uh, some kind of woody you know flavor and um, it's also very mucilaginous so when you mix it with water it becomes kind of a slimy thing that not many people like to take i am okay i can you know close my nose and gulp anything down believe me i have taken you know for six months i took like those really bitter concoctions you know ayurvedic concoctions uh, so i can i can drink anything uh so this, i don't really uh, find it as a problem but i really recommend slippery elm 
especially if you have RA and if you are taking oral medications like methotrexate, which you know tends to again damage your uh, um, digestive tract, and you know had methotrexate can cause has a propensity to cause ulcers. So that's why too this it's very important to take slippery and bark because it. Um, prevents that from happening it's it actually coats the you know gives a protective coat to your digestive tract and thereby it actually and helps build the mucosal um, lining so that's why it's very healing as well as it prevents any damage from medications right so and and especially if you're taking other pain medications if your pain is not controlled in addition to methotrexate if you're taking ibuprofen and um, uh, or you know um, other things like aleve um, it's like which are NSAIDs right which damage your digestive tract it's really really important to take um, slippery elm now slippery elm is not AIP uh, but I really feel like um, it, it really helps a lot um, then along with that uh, is also DGL which is a deglycerinated uh, licorice and that is actually also the same thing it's healing and it helps prevents ulcers so slippery elm and dgl i really recommend if you are taking medications and if you're taking pain medications i really recommend you take that and then again for healing you know as i said bone broth um, but then you can also have collagen supplement um, and collagen that's you know like in the form of a powder and you can add it to your smoothies or just again mix up everything together i like to mix everything together the l glutamine powder the slippery elm and the collagen powder all together and have it first thing in the morning um other than that uh, some things that will help the leaky gut you know zinc as a mineral that will actually help or it's required to you know tighten those um uh, holes if you will you know the barrier in your intestine so therefore you know zinc is an important supplement to have and zinc in general is important for your digestion also um, and then um, the other things are you know some prebiotics right which which again your AIP diet will give you so that helps to heal the gut too um, turmeric we already talked about in um, inflammation and so turmeric is not only anti-inflammatory from a pain and inflammation standpoint but also healing from your you know leaky gut standpoint and thereby you know preventing reducing your immune um, uh, flare-up uh, kind of response uh, and so those are the key things and then finally multivitamin you know some kind of multivitamin um, especially is initially needed because you are so you know RA also impacts your overall um, you know well-being in terms of like you feel really fatigued and do not have energy so therefore you know multivitamin B vitamins we already talked about that's important for energy but then also you know a good balanced multivitamin is good I really like uh, innate, uh, you know, the complete multivitamin powder by innate. Again, I like the powder. Some people don't like the taste of it, but uh, then you can go for another, you know, supplement that's a tablet form or a capsule form, but I really like that. Um, and then I also like, now I have actually shifted to Equifem. And Equifem is another, you know, biotics brand. And I like Equifem for, uh, especially for women uh, and especially women who are in perimenopause or you know heading towards menopause or already menopause Equifem is fantastic it's fantastic from everything because not just multivitamins that your body needs but it also has some um, um, herbals um, you know herbal things in there like black cohosh uh, and also a Chinese uh, herbal supplement which actually help to balance the hormones and that's so critical you know it's critical for women for you know perimenopause and menopause but then that has all hormones have an impact on RE too uh, so therefore you know I really like this brand because Equifem really balances the hormones uh, so that's most of it and then adrenal you know, as I said, you, know, you need to balance the adrenal fatigue. 
so there again you know doing all the b vitamins and um, there's also some herbals you can use if somebody is really you know very adrenal fatigue meaning that you you really have very low energy your adrenal glands are really down you know, and could have been caused by the stress that you know caused you to get um, autoimmune disease in the first place you know some kind of stress whether it was physical or by you know virus or bacteria so that if you really have a lot of adrenal fatigue you know some herbal tonics to help improve the adrenal fatigue Elithorococcus is uh, one such herbal that that's really helpful i took it for a while initially but after that i stopped um, and then and then just the blood sugar balance is important because you know adrenal fatigue and blood sugar balance are very very um, you know interrelated too because you know cortisol is important right and adrenal that's your hormone that the adrenal gland produces and cortisol is important with respect to blood sugar balance as well so it's really important to work on your blood sugar uh, balance and that's by you know in the form of your diet and then once you work on your blood sugar balance um, you know the adrenal fatigue and take lots and lots of rest and also make lifestyle changes so diet as well as lifestyle changes are very critical for you know taking care of adrenal fatigue and then in addition you can um, uh, you know all these other supplements that we talked about they will also help you uh, to overcome the adrenal fatigue as well as you know things like um, avoiding caffeine and you know um, even sugars right because if you're doing AIP then obviously you know all that is taken care of but in general you know avoiding all kinds of stimulants um, and relaxation is what's key in meditation and all kinds of lifestyle practices that will help you calm your mind and then calm your body and um, your adrenal glands that's what's needed so i think that's it i think that's how that's how i approach um, treatment hope you found this information useful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you